Good morning, Scorpio, and how are you? This is Shah, and I hope you're safe and well, and I hope with you the lockdown is easing up. This is the Shadowlands, and I'll start off with this. You most probably have already seen the video on the competition. There is a competition, and uh, you can win one of these decks um, with courtesy of the publishers. Uh, and the, nobody is a loser because there's also a second place and that's the vice versa deck if the first person has the choice to choose whether they want the Shadowlands or the vice versa otherwise the vice versa one, uh, one of these decks will be yours so the first person has the choice and the second has um, the one that's left over and the third person gets a free reading for 20 minutes on a one to one and uh, nobody is a loser because we have to we are going to make a vision board and then we're going to experience i will be going live to um uh, in uh, how do you call that uh, interact with you to see whether you have any issues questions or problems with making a vision board or on how to use it because some somebody said to me how do you make a vision board and what do you do so that is why I decided to make a vision board so at the end of the day you still have something left to carry on with if you wish so you still have something it, all the work is not for nothing and I hope you do uh, find it a, a, a peaceful and um, a helpful uh, suggestion because um, I've always got so much on my mind and I always write pieces of paper, shopping lists and then I forget them so I uh, I do have my own wishes I didn't make them public but um, I might just do that um, I'm making a vision board, a proper one um, so at the end of the day you can see mine and what my wishes are everybody has wishes and I'm also very busy with this book the tarot and the chakras and it is very complex um, it is a beautiful book but it is a lot of information I'm trying to skip the um, astrolo uh, most of the astrology because it does go very deep into astrology planets and trines and squares uh, I don't want to do that because that takes me seven years if you want to be a good astrologer it takes you a lifetime but you've got just the, 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 the beginning steps after uh, a, a year or two, three, seven years I've heard from some astrologers but if you know a, anatomy and if you've got Reiki and if you know ty tarot then this is a great book to create something extra you know I do the chakras the angelic chakras and the angels so um, I just love the idea of getting into tarot and the chakras so um, welcome back my cyber angels and new people uh, new viewers potential viewers <laughs> I love my uh, uh, this is the sense of humor that I have it's very dry usually um, but this deck brings it out even more and welcome if you're new please click on the bell and the subscription button and join us in the life for free cards Monday Wednesday and Friday all Friday or all, all evenings I also answer questions um, that are supported by donations and that is a super chat or a super sticker and uh, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading then please go uh, underneath this video and you'll find more information or click on that white circle in the left right hand corner and you will be taken to the website there you can also see the video on the competition if you don't want to scout around in the playlists to find what you have to do for the competition because there's also five questions okay I'm using the Shadowlands and I'm also using the Mirror Truth Lenaman and I'm also using the White Witch's Tarot and the Angel Feather so you can call upon your angel and do you need support also um, have a look at the reviews if you haven't yet um, that will help you as well um, if you would like to take uh, get one of these decks then that will help you to get them because the address and the IBSN number 
is below the each video and um, I'm going to uh, I'm just sorting out uh, the angel for uh, your angel feather deck and yeah, I'll get to that in a minute and so we can get started now that's my little Bible there <laughs> Ah, I love my angel feathers. I love all my dicks, but this is my favorite one at the moment. These that I have on the table, okay? Now, I'm going to do the nine card spread, which I do in always when I do a reading, a private reading. Um, but I won't go into depth totally, um, because otherwise I'll be sitting here for an hour. So, um, I will, I will just... You know that I use four cards, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and an, um, um, an all-over energy card. Well, the all-over energy card, you can still keep it as the overall energy card, but I use this as the querent. So I'm going to pretend that you're sitting across from me, you're the camera, okay? Um, and obviously we're not live and this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign um, and you can't ask the questions but that is that is the nice thing about it when you're together in a one-to-one -one, you can ask questions if you feel like it I also have the clarification cards these are usually the cards underneath the uh, the card of the day Monday Wednesday but I'm using this card to clarify these three or these three these three will clarify this card and um, we'll just see how it goes in the reading the same here okay and the same here okay and then you have the uh, uh, the white witches uh, tarot card and that I use for an extra the meaning of the card and the zodiac sign that is coupled to it and then your angel purple feather you've got the purple angel feather so th it is quite a spiritual card because purple to me is spirituality or emotions intuition new ideas okay so let's start with your card and you've got number 14 which is a five uh, you might not f be in balance and it is the temperance card after all so you might be in balance but you it's you find it difficult to keep in balance look at all that fire there's there might be too much going on around you okay now temperance also represents Sagittarius so note that down if you do note things down from a reading um, if you don't want to go back to the reading at the end of the week then just take notes and see whether it resonates whether it, uh, whether you do meet a Sagittarius or anything else that is um, being said in the reading are you do you find it difficult to find balance or are you in balance how do you keep in balance that's the type of questions that you can ask yourself okay then we go on to Monday and Monday you have the tower upside down now this is the tower that means unexpected changes and you've got number 16 so that's a 7 7 is a lucky number there are no unexpected changes okay you are in balance I would say you're definitely in balance because you you are being I've got a feeling in my head open uh, light uh, you're flexible that is what I'm feeling at the moment you're open to new ideas and this is keeping you balanced you are also I think writing things down uh, making priority lists <coughs> perhaps you're making a wish list uh, to stick on your vision board okay look at this is really action action fire everywhere it is not quiet definitely not it is a very energetic changing week but you you are in your power you are in your power and you're in your balance you are taking it step by step and Scorpio uh, you are water after all so you do tend to go with the flow but if somebody makes you angry, ooh, they better watch out because you've got a nasty sting. But it do doesn't seem to be any negative thing in your reading 
uh, so far. You've only got fire, action, passion. Cre you're busy creating something. And that is what I'm also feeling. Uh, perhaps you might be playing music or starting to play music. Perhaps that is your passion. But you are taking it easy. Wow. And you're sitting in the hand of the divine. Something will be offered to you because you've got by the divine, by the universe. You have the ace of wands. So it could be a new passion with a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. It could be a new job. It could be a hobby turning into a job. Perhaps that's what you're pondering about. Perhaps that is your uh, new idea and you're trying to find the balance between your I think you are also trying to maintain the job that you have now but I think there will be change that you'll be working part-time and so that you can develop your own business steadily but surely and not just boom suddenly you are very careful you are very careful you have no disillusions you have also no illusions you know you've got what it takes to get this beginning started if it isn't a new passion well it is a new passion if it is something that you want to do then you are passionate about it you love it and you will live day and night you will work day and night for it but don't tire yourself out don't get burned out okay I know to have your own business or if you are passionate about something and you want to put it out there in the world that you will work 24 hours a day don't you are on the right track here you don't want anything uh, to happen suddenly you want to s focus on it take it step by step new beginnings are always exciting but they can burn you out so you have the t you have uh, the ability to take it slowly like the pentacles and steady you have the knowledge right that's the feather you have the knowledge and you you might need more knowledge but it will come with experience now you've got the wand you um you want to get and you know how to get into action and work hard you're no slagger you don't um you don't slag off at work and you've got the emotional intelligence and abilities to maintain the balance so you're the magician you have the key in your own hand okay put on the rubber gloves and get to work this look this is my crazy housewife i just love the magician i really do the pink gloves and the pink apron <laughs> I love it but that is on Friday so you might be getting things done magically on Friday some magic will happen on Friday okay and then you've got the king of swords and he is writing things down like I said you are writing things down you're taking step by step you might even uh, be doing research um, I get uh, he's got the wings here but um, I've got the feeling that he's in the library noting things down or in his office and he's noting things down and he's keeping that to himself um, he's he's learning he's he, Gemini's the king of swords is a Gemini and d don't forget Libra or Aquarius because it's an air sign they have their emotions under control they're always eager to learn to get more information so they can pass it on to other people so don't be scared to ask for help from the king of swords be it a gemini or a libra or an aquarian okay um you might also start a new study to enhance your spe speciality for your uh, hobby or business to advance perhaps for your work you might start a new study perhaps you're signing contracts or legalities getting licenses for your business or you're signing a new contract because you've got a new job offer wow now we're going to this corner and you have the tree right the tree is health but to me the tree is also the the, the family the roots 
your family is important also not only your health but money is green and the tree is green so you uh, money is important to you to bring stability in the family and in your life okay that's what you're busy with okay but you also need space and you can only if you live in an apartment right if you live in an apartment or a flat a high rise or you work in a high rise you need to go outside and to get space because these spaces are usually very small <coughs> time is of essence and if I turn it like that it is an infinity sign so you want something to last you are working towards something that you are sure of that will last you are out of balance here because you've got a five so take it step by step keep on being the temperant okay you you hold the key to how fast you want to go and you've got the seven of cups so you are dreaming of what you want you're wishing of what you want so take it easy you have it in control don't let anything unexpected happen you are in control you have the knowledge and you're learning how to balance and to keep control this is a bit of a balance thing as well that's the hourglass it might mean time take your time or time is of essence okay that's like the hourglass but it will give you time to learn uh, you uh, you're given time to take your own time temperance balance so that you can uh, keep this tower upside down because there are no unexpected changes happening now you have the birds there will be news coming you are seeing things from a different perspective you might have been an employee and you're starting your own business so now you're seeing things as your employer has to see saw you and what you were doing and how you were doing so you know that what you want um, it is if you have any employees in your business then you know how they felt if uh, you know how they feel when you approach them okay so be careful and be careful of gossip but news will come to you somebody might have left the group or the coop okay you've got the seven of diamonds what you sow you shall reap and you've got 12 that becomes a three be creative so there might be there's no gossip going on at the moment be careful of gossip but it can change quickly okay because this card is lying next to the tower so be careful treat those the way you want to be treated remember how you were when you were an employee you want things done on time you want things done properly and right you want people to work hard and be active but also steady the balance temperance so that you that they do put the eyes on the uh, dot the eyes and cross the t's that things get done on time but correctly it's not very easy because sometimes uh, people will work too fast and things don't get done and then uh, properly and then you do have the tower moment you might lose your temper and boom somebody falls away because you have to fire them or they walk away you don't want that you want a good relationship with your uh, partner or employees okay now we're going to this corner you have the moon now I've just peeped here and you've got the moon there as well I'll come back to that card so you've got two moons the two moons stand for Pisces it stands for your uh, emotional side your nurturing side your uh, spiritual side let's listen to your intuition if you get new ideas coming in because the king of swords is here and he is a thinker okay wisdom learning 
listen to your ideas, note them down, go and do some more research, go and find out in the library if there's any information or on Google. Make your ideas solid so you don't have tower moments. Okay, again 32, again a 5. So you've got two fives. So the angels are with you, they are helping you, they are giving you uh, the opportunity to take your time. Okay, but remember, here we've got 10 past 10, and that reminds me, Rin Tin Tin. Dun, 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 anyway, no, take time out to balance take rest and work hard make sure that everything is sound as a pound don't be a cowboy don't be a cowboy that's what I'm 10 uh, 10 o'clock is usually coffee time here in Holland and it's 10 past 10 so take 10 to 15 minutes a break uh, every four hours and a half an hour or an hour for lunch okay space yourself that is what I'm trying to say and listen to your intuition if something doesn't feel good then it isn't Okay, if something's too good to be true, it usually isn't. And you've got the Eight of Cups. You've got the Eight of Hearts. <coughs> you want excitement. You want adventure. You want new beginnings. Well, take it easy. Don't throw away old routines, old shoes before you get the new one. Okay, make a, a proper sound base foundation so that you can add new products or new ideas one by one. Don't take too much hay on your fork because the fork will capsize. You can't hold on to something that's too heavy. Okay, but you might meet a Pisces. You're on the right road because you've got the light side of the moon. Okay, you've got the light side of the moon, so you are on the right path, the northern node towards because the moon is giving you light. Now this is the moon card and the moon like I said is Pisces and it is sensitivity, emotional. At the full moon or at the new moon you might be very sensitive or the, the perhaps the new ideas might arise in that time frame and that's two or three days usually because you've got the full moon coming up and then he's full moon and he stays there for a day and then he starts waning again. So perhaps around the uh, uh, and because it is crab, okay, um, and we will be going into Cancer, and that is a crab, so that's pretty amazing. Um, perhaps on the uh, June the twenty first or the twenty second, when we're going into Cancer, perhaps. Uh, new ideas are going to come to you or perhaps this what you want to put into practice your ideas will be birthing around the 21st or the 22nd okay we've just had the Gemini moon um, on the 21st 22nd of um, May so <coughs> but this is uh, the crab but the moon is Pisces. Okay, sorry, sorry, that's not the card that I want. This is the card that I want. And we've got the channel Divine Grace. Yes, the angels, like I said, the angels have your back. Okay, where was that? Ava Kaker. Sorry, I just had to pause the video. This is where the angels have your back because you've got a double number. Five five and you've got a seven seven okay lucky 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 number and I forgot to do this one as well this corner this is and the moon card and you've got the moon card in the tarot and if you've got the traditional tarot you have the two pillars the uh, and this is also the dark side this is the darker side and this is the light side so you have the pillars so you've got a doorway a porthole the angels are giving you <coughs> a porthole to step through 
Now we've got number 17, the uh, uh, the stalk card, okay, and that becomes an 8, so that's your powerhouse and money house. So you might be making a lot of money in that time that I've just mentioned around the full moon or new moon, okay. Now you might be moving home, you might be moving premises, so this could be in business or housewise. You might be extending, expending. Okay, something is going to change. 360 degrees. Something is going to turn round for you. You might be hearing of a birth. This could be of a project or a child. If you are too mature, then you might become an aunt or you might become a, a, a granny. And we've got the Queen of Hearts. So, the Queen of Hearts is a nurturing, loving, passionate lady. And the Queen of Hearts is Scorpio. But don't exclude Cancer or Pisces. Pisces is the page of hearts. The King is Cancer and the Queen is Scorpio. But don't exclude the other two, because we've got Pisces here and Pisces here. And I think it is also a Cancer, because we have a picture of a crab, and we're going into Cancer. Okay, so that is quite prominent. Ah, great stuff. So you, can, you are in control, because you are in your strength. Your strength. You stand in your strength. And then you've got the purple angel feather, okay? Channel divine grace. And you've got these um, spiritual cards. Really amazing. The angels acknowledge that you have an intense psychic ability. So listen to your intuitiveness and your ideas and call upon you for spiritual service and visionary leadership within the world okay Scorpio and your angel for the week are lots of angels really 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 Archangel Gabriel the angel of prayers Archangel Metatron and he's also the angel of prayers and clearing chakras okay our Archangel Michael Michael delivering and answering prayers Raphael, Sandalphon, Satkiel, those are all the archangels that are uh, answering and delivering your prayers. So it's going to happen for you this week, definitely, if not into next week. It's a beautiful reading. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care and, you know, uh, come into the tea room and get your free cards or get your question answered. If you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading then you can find the information below and in the little circle on the right hand side. So take care and if you want to be first then give us the likes and then let's see whether we can rock the boat. <laughs> I love you anyway. Take care and stay safe and thank you very much for being here.